interesting poem in your NCERT book which deals with the questions related to water, its behavior with different things. So few things such as paper boat, empty bottle, katori and plastic ball floats in water and few things such as stone, iron nail, steel spoon sank in water. Now the two questions which arises in your mind are what floats in water? The answer is like things floats and question number two what sinks in water? The answer is heavy things will sink in water. Now we have an interesting poem in your NCRT book which deals with the questions related to water, its behavior with different things. So let us read, enjoy and find out why. The name of this poem is Why? Oh Why? It has been written by Shishir Shobhan Asthana in the magazine Chakmak in December 1985 and has been translated by Anupa Lal. So let us enjoy this scientific poem. Why? Oh why? A wooden boat in water will float but a needle will sink. Why does this happen? Let me think why? Oh why? An iron ship will also float though it's much heavier than my boat why oh why but a needle light as a leaf thin as a pin will sink right in why oh why why does this happen let me think why oh why the child is quite confused why this happens? A wooden boat or a big iron ship floats in water which are much heavier but a needle very thin and small sinks in water. Why does this happen? The child is quite confused and wants to know about this. Now let us try to clear the confusions which occurred in mind of the child just look at this picture this big heavy gigantic ship is sailing so easily in the water now you must also be thinking why it happens so you would have observed while doing the activity that when you immerse an object in water it displaces some water similarly when a ship like this is immersed, some water gets displaced. Now, what happens then? There are some forces which acts on every object. Look at the second big picture. You can see one arrow down and one blue arrow upwards. The downward shows the gravitational force. What is gravitational force? The force which is exerted by earth on all the objects. Everything will fall towards the earth because of the gravitational force. The same force exerts on this ship or any object which is immersed in water. But the water will exert a buoyant force as well which will throw the object emerged upwards. You can see the arrow shown. So, if the buoyant force is greater than the gravitational force, the object will float in water. So, this is the reason why a few objects will sink and others will float in water. Also, the ships or vessels which float in water are designed in such a way that they displace the water which is optimum for them to float. Now we would have got some idea 
that why do things float or sink in water actually many years ago a greek scientist named archimedes he explained why things float or sink in water the first one is the law of flotation and second important thing which he told was the point force or the upthrust for example look at the first picture we have a glass of water and when when we immersed a wooden block you can see this dotted pink line the actual level of water was the pink line but when the wood was immersed it displaced some water and the level got higher because the some space was occupied by this wooden block so that water got displaced and we can see above the pink line then the point force as already explained this is the force which is exerted on the immersed objects because of water if the point force is greater than the gravitational force then the objects will float and vice versa that is if the point force is less than the gravitational force then the object will sink in water